Okay, um, I've recovered this uh, a few weeks ago. This is the, the GCD QNC N GCQ4-125. It's an ATS auto changeover switch and basically the load goes in at the bottom there and the <coughs> I'm going to switch the mains on. At the moment, this is this socket is from the U, is from the invert, the backup power supply, right? Which and this here is the generator, and it's coming into the front two terminals there. The load is at the bottom, and the mains comes in the top, and that's from here, right? We switch on the mains. It's there, and. At the moment, there's zero current because this is, this is counting down. I think that's about 30 seconds. And then when it applies the power, we're in auto mode. We've changed over to B and B is there. It wouldn't change to B if B wasn't there. It would just stay up the top. The switch, yeah. When this comes back, you'll see that switch come back. And you'll see the, the A illuminate. All right. We've got power. Now, only half the house is, half the house is fed on this load here, which is the bottom of the load. There's uh, one set of sockets, one set of lights at the bottom here. But the other set of house, so you see these cables in here, the other side of the house is, is not fed through this. It just dies, all right? So, at the moment, that's why it's showing some ampage. That's like a fridge or something like that running, right? But the lights here, right? They're all, they are still being fed from the inverter because it hasn't changed over, right? This is faulty. This is only a few weeks old. So we've re, we've re-energized and I've tried swapping um, live and neutral over in case it's something to do with that because sometimes they do things in the street where they just change things over, they change the system. <coughs> um, so it's all wired exactly the same. It's getting its signal across and what have you. So there you go. So we have to put it into manual mode and then we can turn it over. Now you'll see the lights went off for a second. It's changed over. So if we were to lose lose power now, it will change over. Oh, that's not so good. It was supposed to change over because the inverter is there. I know, it's because I'm, I'm in manual mode. Yeah, so what I have to do, turn it back. No, let's just put it into auto mode. Bang. So that's what should happen, right? It's in auto mode, right? And then we've reinstated the mains. So when that mains comes back and you see A illuminated, it knows the mains has come back and it should change back automatically. If it doesn't change back automatically, you end up staying on your inverter power. There you go. That should have went and clicked back. So that is, that is faulty. That's a shame that's only lasted about eight weeks, something like that. I can't remember when I made that video. So there you go. So basically, don't buy this. You know, the power is there. The power runs the house. It's all there, it's all correct. It's not happening, okay.